Hey guys. So, funny thing, uh, it's Kev here. Uh, funny thing uh, about secondhand games is that, uh, and this is uh, Marita Mercur, which is a combination of two operation uh, names uh, from the, the German canon of World War II, uh, the history of World War II, uh, and we'll talk about the game and where it is and all the rest of it uh, later on. But uh, just an interesting observation. It's funny, when I see uh, a bag of counters like this, you know, so this is uh, 600 counters, um, it's daunting to me. And this is one of the things that prevents me from getting real excited about this old system. Uh, all the counter bags, 99% of them are blank. And uh, many of the titles have, uh, not only are they blank, but they're white on the back as well. Now, fortunately, these are the same color on both sides. Here's one that reduces down a card draw strength. Uh, but they're all blank. And, and when they're blank and all white, man, you, you've got to literally physically turn every single counter over to know what color it is on the other side and, and who it belongs to, and then push it into the pile it belongs to, and then uh, sort it by type or... Uh, turn of entrance or whatever the case may be. Uh, so that's a little frustrating. The funny thing is when I look at a brand new game, and I'll have, you know, a thousand counters or 600 counters just like this, I don't even think twice about you know, starting to punch it all out and do it all, because you, you do it all from scratch, and somehow that feels different than uh, trying to sort someone's leftovers. Uh, you know, this all came in one baggie, which I can assure you that when I sell it, uh, if I sell it, I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep all my Europa titles. But if I do sell this, uh, it will be sorted by nationality at the very least for you. Uh, so there is that. <coughs> and then uh, we'll talk more about the Europa system later on. But one thing I do like about it is the lack of information counters. Uh, when you compare it to OCS, OCS has a lot uh, of information counters on the board at any one time between... Uh, uh, you, know, the, you know, tracking steps on a division or uh, whether some the, the status of a unit, whether it's in strategic move mode or whether it's in some other mode, uh, disorganized mode, whatever the case may be. So uh, let me just turn that off. So whenever that, uh, it, it can often be busy. And although the counters are very pretty and the maps are obviously significantly more attractive than these 30-year-old puppies, uh, although there is a stark uh, beauty to these, uh, it, you know, when you look at the maps, so OCS, everything looks great and those information counters really do pop out nicely. So I'm not saying that's a bad thing about OCS, but there are a lot of counters on the map. Uh, and a lot of information counters covering up what's going on which can uh, slow things down a little bit. Anyway, thought I'd share that with you and share the uh, new title. We'll talk more about the Balkan campaign as we progress through the chronological play of World War II. Ciao.